everybody! Welcome to this week's video. As you can see, I am in a new place and that is because I finally was able to move into my own little townhouse and this is the first sewing video that I am filming in here and I'm very very excited. Here I have my own sewing room which I'll show you guys in a minute and it is honestly perfect. So today I'm going to start my very first dress made here with a fairy dress original design that I have planned to go with the new wings I just bought. So let me show you the materials. So basically yesterday I pulled up into Joann's and I spent over $300 for this project and a few extra things. Let me show you the materials. So this I actually bought a whole bolt of it online a couple weeks ago. So it wasn't a part of what I got yesterday, but it's like this lacy floral design and I didn't realize until today that Literally only half of the uh, width of it has stuff on it and the rest is just this lace. And then I got this really, really, I, it's like, I don't even know. It's incredibly thick kind of soft matte satin. I got three yards of this for a skirt. For the bodice, I got this. It almost feels like silk, but it's polyester, but it's like silky charmeuse, charmeuse satin. To soften things out, I bought this purple netting just in case I wanted to use it. And then since I wanted a tiny green, I got this sparkly green. I wasn't planning on adding gold to the whole thing, but I saw this and thought I could either cut it out and use appliques or put it over something. And I was kind of intrigued. I also found this, which I didn't really have an idea plan in my head. So I was kind of going with the flow, but I thought that this trim would be really pretty for sleeves. So we'll see if I use that. Of course I have, my fairy wings, which I got off of Etsy. I will try to link these below. I've tried making wings before and I never, <laughs> they're always bad. So I bought my own pair, which they're just a lot nicer than anything I could make. So all together, I think that it's gonna be a really pretty kind of forest garden fairy thing. No, Hubert, my cat's trying to hit the wing. I really like it and we're going to make something fun. Uh, let's get started. I literally just watched that back and realized there's a porta potty in the background of my video, so just ignore that because I'm still living on a construction site. Yesterday, I put it on my dress form so that it could do the warping it needs to do. I did serge it before I realized that. So as you can see, like, since this is the bias, it's stretched a lot. So I need to even out this hem and then I can do the hemming. So yeah, just hemmed this, but I'm actually changing my mind. I'm gonna cut it in half and only use a half circle because it's just too much volume and it's still warped. So less volume, you won't be able to tell as much. So I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Luckily the waist is extra long, so it will still fit. I do separate skirts with separate waistbands because I feel like it makes for cooler TikToks, <laughs> which is a silly reason. But for this one, I want to eliminate a lot of the bulk of the waist. So I'm actually going to join these two skirts together at the waistline so that it's less bulk. And so then I'll only have two waistbands instead of three. Um, yeah, so I did take this netting and I gathered it up and I think it's really pretty and it really just softens it. So now I need to sew these two together and then I can add a waistband and the first skirt will be done. 
Okay, now that that skirt is done, we can move on to the overskirt. And this one, since it is this kind of lacy thing, I can't do a circle skirt. I'm gonna have to do a rectangle. So my issue is figuring out how much I want the rectangle to be. I'm feeling like three yards maybe. I might pleat it because I just don't want it to be bulky, but then I feel like a pleats aren't as organic, I guess. And for a fairy, I don't know if that's what I want. But it's also not gonna be run the whole thing. It's gonna be like open. I think I'm just gonna cut right here. I have a whole bolt with just six yards. So if I don't have enough, I can always get more in the cut. One thing about cats is that you'll never sell in peace. Hello. This is Arthur. Hi, Hubert. I feel so gypped once I cut this earlier or noticed that it's only... No! No! That it's only lace on the bottom. Luckily, the skirt is short. No! Oh my gosh. I have so much. I could actually make another floor, a floor length gown with it too, but that's not for today. Luckily, since it is short, I have room. So maybe cut it where these bigger ones are. Okay, okay. I'm gonna kick you guys both out. Go. I've got the skirt mostly tackled, so I'm cutting out the bodice pieces. This thicker satin that I use for the skirt, I'm using for the base. And then I have the decorative uh, fabric that I'll be using for the outer fabric. But I'm using the Lily bodice pattern, which is absolutely amazing. And I will tag the creator in the description and link you to his pattern. It's on Etsy if you want to get it. Um, but I'm using it because I don't want to make my own pattern because I'm trying to get this done fast and it's really great to use. So I'm going to cut those out and then after I've cut out this base, I wanted to show you what I'm doing for the decorative part, which I'm really excited about. I am really excited about what I got for the bodice. So obviously it's going to be kind of purple. I have this really pretty slinky kind of fabric for the other pieces, but the center front, I got this shiny green and I also got this, I don't even know what it's called but it's like a gold lace. So I'm actually going to layer the gold lace over the green and it will be like that on the center front. And then this will be on the other side. I really wanted there to be a little bit of green and gold in there. So I think it will be really pretty. Um, I'm gonna cut those out though. That is the exact vision I had in my head. It looks so good. I did sew all the pieces together. And right now what I'm doing is putting masking tape on the tips of these bones because normally I use zip ties and I melt them, but I just bought on Etsy a roll of, um, I don't even remember what this is called, but it's like the real stuff that you use, but I don't have tips for them. So I'm just adding masking tape so that they don't poke through my fabric. Hello. Um, I don't know if I like them as much as zip ties, if I'm being honest, even though that's this is what you're supposed to use. They just feel kind of flimsy to me. And I don't really like that. But yeah, I just put a little masking tape on the edges because when I cut it, it's all jagged and sharp. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Visually, it's looking good. It's actually going terrible. I think the fabric I got is horrendous. It's so slippery. And so I think the pattern pieces got cut all wonky. I don't know if you can see that. It's so bad. So I'm trying to just work with it because I need to finish this today. But it's like horrendous. I don't even know what to do to fix it. It's tear out. It's terrible. So I'm trying to like pin it in place and figure out where to sew it down. But it is 
so bad right now. I chose the wrong fabric. It's so puckery because it's just like a slinky thing. It's like really thin. So I think what I'm gonna do is cover up these things with maybe like flowers because it's so bad right now. I might just like, I don't know, decorate it with leaves because this is just not working out for me. I mean, it's this piece specifically on both sides. It's so bad and this one is all warped. I will never work with this fabric again for something so structured. And then like right here, I just cut it so bad. So <laughs> I'm just gonna make it work and hopefully cover it up with all of these little things. Maybe some leaves, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> this is really bad. It looks, no, from the side, it sticks out so much, look at that. I don't know what to do. Hmm. This is a conundrum. I guess I just have to keep going and like, look at that. Mm -mm. It looks so bad. This was the worst choice of fabric ever, but I'm still gonna make it work. Maybe I'll cut that off a little bit. Make it less like that. Cut it like right there. I'll try it on with the wings. I think the wings kind of distract it. So I think once it's all done, you won't really notice how bad it is. It kind of like hides the back. I need to push them down more. So I'll just keep moving on. I mean, it's literally horrendous, but the wings make it less horrendous. So you don't notice it as much. I'm gonna add some lace to it too. And I think add some applique of this to it. Just hide from everything and see like that the bones I used, it just, it doesn't hold shape very well. So it makes my rib cage look like it's popping out, but it's just the bone, not perfect. 